Jimmy Allen, thank you so much for hanging out with us today at Radio Disney Country. We're so excited about your brand new EP, Betty James. Like what? This EP is unreal. I'm surprised and happy people like it because, you know, when I create music, I never really think, is this the number one? Will people like it? I, I just create what I like. And, you know, hopefully along the way, somebody likes it. So that's yeah. kind of my process in creating. I feel like that's what it's all about. I was thinking about that today, actually, that I feel like people that are the most authentic to themselves, for some reason, that connects best with other people, mm -hmm. which it seems like it would be the opposite, right? Like, it seems like, oh, I gotta like please all these people, and if I do that, that will connect, but it doesn't. It's when you yeah, do- Yeah, because it's like, the only thing, you might know what people want in that moment. Yeah. You know, but by the time you create it and put it out, that moment could have passed. Yeah. But the one thing that doesn't change is knowing where you stand all the time. I love that. And I feel like as long as you the only uh, pulse you're following is your own, yes. you're good to go. You're giving me goosebumps. That's so good. That is such a good just like life lesson for everyone. That's awesome. I totally geeked out over every single person <laughs> that you did a song <laughs> with, so I can't imagine how you were feeling. It was trippy because I'm sitting here watching Nelly sing words to a song that we wrote together. And I'm like, what is happening right now? That and then I, I was playing Opry one night and I get a text. It's Brad Paisley. He texts me, say, Hey, after the Opry tonight, come over to the house. So me and Darius were playing it together that night. So me and Darius went over to his house and Tim McGraw was there. And we're just sitting in a circle talking, playing guitars. I'm like, What am I doing in a room with Darius Rucker, Brad Paisley, and Tim McGraw? Like, I, I don't even make enough money to be in this room. And they're legends, like, like you know what I mean, like. Yeah, but you are too. Like, you deserve to be uh, there with them. Man, maybe in about forty years. No way. But now we were, but, we were we were sitting there writing, like, just sitting there talking, and then I played one of my like everybody started going around playing new songs. So I remember I played "Freedom Was a Highway," and Brad started picking on it. I was like, so I said, guys, and Tim was like, yo, we should do a song together one day. I said, hey, you said it. I'm gonna hold you to it. <laughs> So I, I, I got these songs, and I started writing songs, and I could hear each artist's voice, you know, on the song. And when I wrote um, Made For These, I kind of just made about just my musical journey yeah. and how like the struggles kind of help build character and prepare you for success one day. And I heard Tim's voice when I said, this is for Tim. Mm. Freedom was Highway, I heard Brad, that's for Brad. And then ever since I was a kid, I've been wanting to do a song with Charlie Pride. When I got older, I wanted to do a song with Darius. And it was, for me, it was, it was super important because I remember being younger and seeing Darius, a guy that looks like me in one of the biggest rock bands. And then Charlie Pride, another guy that looks like me, you know, the first black artist in, in, in country music. And the dude was just amazing. So I reached out to Darius and said, man, I got a song before I sent him Why Things Happened. And I sent it to him, his other song. He said, I like it, but he said, I don't, feel like we should do a drinking song, Me, You, and Charlie, our first song out. He said, we have the ability to do something special here. It's the first time in history where three black country artists have been on a song together. Yeah. So I wrote Why Things Happen with my bass player, Tate Howe, Carrie Barlow, and Brandon Day. So we just started thinking about life and just having questions and how a lot of questions don't have answers, but there's some sort of closure, there's some sort of peace and asking questions even when you don't get the answers you're searching for so I, we were in Germany together me and Darius playing a show in March and I played him this song he was like this this is the one so did that uh, Mickey I love Mickey Guyton we've been wanting to do something for a while and heard that song I was like gotta get Mickey on it uh, then when they sent me when this is over I was like mm. <laughs> So right away, I heard my buddy Torrin Wells and I heard Rita Wilson. And and I was sitting there with it after I got the mixes back. I was like, I feel like something is missing. So my grandmom's favorite group of all time was Oak Ridge Boys. Wow. And my tour bus driver, Craig, is the son of William Lee Golden from the Oak Ridge Boys, the guy with the beard. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so he reached out to his dad. I was like, Jimmy wants to do a song with you. And he was like, yeah, we love Jimmy. We love his music. I was like, what? So when they did it, we were I was in the studio messing around. I was like, ladies and gentlemen, the 
Oak Ridge Boys. I love and that Mike part. And it was like, yo, leave that. Leave that in there. Because I just felt like, you know, they deserve a moment. You know what I mean? They're legends. They, they've they inspired so many artists and so many songs that are created today. Yeah. And when they came in, I got chills. Like, I started thinking about, you know, moments with my grandma. I'm listening to them. And mm-hmm. I've gotten so many messages from people talking about how the Oak Ridge Boys brought so many memories back. And I was like, that's that's what it's all about. Yes. And, you know, we got the current single, This Is Us, on there. And that's kind of why I put This Is Us at the end, because I kind of look at the project as like a journey. You know, life, you know, when you're young, life is great. It's all about the good times and stuff, you know? That's good times roll. And then you get older and you go through heartbreak. Hence, drunk and I miss you. And then life hits you sometimes and you struggle and you realize that these those days were made for these. And then you hit a point in life where you slowly start to figure yourself out and, and and life gets grooving again. That's when like freedom is a highway where like possibilities are, are endless. Um, but then in life, you know, you ha- things happen where you have questions. Then you have why things happen. And then after you have these moments in life, you question, you look forward to afterwards, to when this is over. Then when it's all over, when it's all said and done, no matter what you've been through, the good and the bad, it's still you. So that's why I put this as us. Because no matter what we've been through, we're still us. Yes. You know? so I kind of wanted to go kind of up and down. I love that. And I feel like, especially for it to come out right now in such a crazy time in the world, oh, yeah. it's, it's perfect. Like we're feeling all of these things all of the time. And I just felt so much like peace and joy and healing in listening to these songs. I've listened to the EP all weekend long and it oh, is just thanks. so awesome. You did such an incredible job. Thanks. Yeah. So I'm actually going to Disney World first week of August to celebrate. What ride do you want to go on first? I do my favorite attraction which is carousel of progress oh i just love you you're amazing i love you back i hope you have a great night go go I write will. more amazing songs we'll do you have a great <laughs> night too thanks jimmy i'll talk to you soon yeah. bye, bye.